Hi, everybody. It's Hugh Burrell for Golf Town. Very, very pleased to be joined by some special people this morning. Glad to have you along. Uh, one of them you know very well. She is a major winner in the LPGA Tour, a Canadian Open champion, the number 10 player in the world, and the pride of Smith's Falls, Ontario, Brooke Henderson. Hi, Brooke. How you doing? Happy holiday. <laughs> Thank you. I'm doing very well. So Golf Town ran a contest from December 1st to the 12th and invited over 4,000, we had 4,000 members of the Brook Brigade enter for a chance to win a virtual meet and greet with you and some great prizing from Ping. Got a couple of drivers in there, a couple of junior sets and four $250 gift cards from Golf Town. So lots of great swag. And we have our winner and she's from London, Ontario. Her name is Lynn Mello. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Say hello to Brooke Henderson. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Hi, Lynn. This is awesome. Thank you so much for entering the contest. And I'm happy we could do this today. Yeah, this was super exciting. When I got the phone call that I won, I have to say, I think I'm still in stunned disbelief that, um, <laughs> that the prize pack came to me and that I get to meet you today. So thank you for your time and this opportunity as well. Yeah, of course. It's awesome. Do you have a favorite club that you use? And why? Um, I love my driver. Um, I think it's a lot of fun to just kind of swing as hard as I can and try to hit it really far. Um, the last few years, I've been in the top 10 uh, driving distance on the LPGA Tour, which I, I'm pretty proud of because I'm pretty small and short. <laughs> so, you know, when I'm with some of the girls that are a lot taller than me and I can still, you know, hit it out with them, it, it's pretty fun for me. Um, but yeah, I think just ripping at it. I think that actually started when I was younger too. Um, you know, being six years younger than my sister, I was always trying to beat her or hit it as far as she did. So it was always kind of pushing me uh, to get better. If you could recommend one club for somebody like me who could literally use one club to do the entire course because <laughs> my skill level is not high, what would it be and why? Um, well, it is really exciting that you have those new drivers. And actually, I mean, the face is pretty big on them and they're supposed to be very forgiving. So I feel like that way, maybe you'll gain some more distance and a little bit more accuracy with those new ping drivers, which is pretty cool. All right, Brooke, I just wanted to know what does a typical day in your life look like from start to finish? Um, well, I play close to 30 events um, out on tour. So that's around 30 weeks of the year that I'm traveling um, to those tournaments across the globe um, and then in the off weeks I'm doing like sponsor events and charity events um, and, and also some downtime but a typical tournament tournament week um, let's say like Thursday um, in the morning um, like breakfast and then I head to the course um, or head out to the range I guess an hour and a half before I tee off and so that hour and 20 minutes is you know on the range chipping green and putting green um, and then 10 minutes prior to tee off head over to the tee play 18 holes, come back in, hopefully lunch is still available or I get some sort of food into me. Um, and then I debrief with my team. So my sister, who's my caddy, um, and also my dad, who's my coach, um, and kind of go over where I could have improved that day, you know, some of the mistakes that I made and where I could be better moving forward. And then we go out and we practice those um, either on the range or putting green, or sometimes to be honest, it's just mental mistakes. So we try to go into the next day with a, a clearer mind, um, but that's pretty much it. And then uh, head back to the hotel, do some stretching, watch a good show and, and repeat the next day. <laughs> As a successful female athlete and role model, um, if you could use this platform to deliver one message to females that are watching you right now, what would that be? Um, well, you know, I love playing the game of golf and it has given me so many um, incredible opportunities. And so when I see young girls and boys, you know, come out to watch me play or, you know, post something on social media, it's, it really means a lot to me. Um, and it's pretty cool to be a role model. Um, you know, for me, I'm just always trying to focus on being a better person and a better golfer every day. And then, you know, hopefully that can inspire others to, to do the same. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty crazy and awesome life that has kind of put me in this position. But yeah, you know, just trying to get better and, and be better, try to give back where I can. And, you know, hopefully the future is bright. You are an amazing role model for, for females. It kind of wraps up my questions. I want to thank you so much for everything and allowing me to be a part of your day and this opportunity. 
All right, congratulations to you, Lynn. A great prize package from Ping and Golf Town. A couple of G425 drivers, two junior sets, and four $250 gift, gift cards from Golf Town as well. Enjoy them. Yeah, we recently ran a contest and uh, we, we talked to the winner of that contest, but the, the, a lot of people sent you holiday greetings as well. Uh, did you want to read a few of those? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah if, if you could, just. It, this gives an idea of, of just how much you're loved by, by Canadian golf fans uh, out there. And they, you know, they, they're passing along best wishes and it'd just be nice. Read, read two or three or four if you can. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, sure. It was really cool um, to receive yeah. that many holiday <laughs> wishes. That's, that's really, really cool. <laughs> um, so Leah uh, from PEI. Merry Christmas, Brooke and your family. Can't wait to watch and cheer you on in 2022. Have a happy and healthy holiday season. Looking so forward to watching you at the 2022 CP Women's Open. So happy it is back on the LPG schedule. Yeah, I'm very happy about that yeah, too. Yeah, we all are really <laughs> excited for that. Really excited. <laughs> um, Linda uh, from North Vancouver, BC. Brooke, you made my day at the Portland Cambia in 2019 when you crossed the ferry to say you liked my shirt. It was, of course, a Brooks Brigade shirt. We watch all the tournaments and cheer you on. Hope to see you in person again soon. Wishing you and Brittany have a wonderful Christmas. That's pretty cool. I actually, yep. when I read this, I was thinking, I remember um, in 2019 in Portland, seeing those Brook Brigade shirts out there, which is pretty neat. Yeah, Bro Brooks Brigade is everywhere. <laughs> it it's really it's is. unstoppable. You can't stop it. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> um, Richard from Scarborough, Ontario. Wish you nothing but success in 2022. Go Canada, go. I like that too. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, there's so many awesome ones. Um, and it's pretty cool that people took the time to send them to me. Yeah. So uh, just to wrap up, your plans for the holidays. Uh, unfortunately, you're not you're not coming home. Uh, where are you? What are you doing for the holidays? Yeah, so I'm in Florida um, right now. And I'll be able to spend Christmas with my sister, brother-in-law, um, and my parents, which is always really nice to get the family um, together for Christmas. It really means a lot. So yeah, unfortunately not going back home to Canada, just a little too difficult um, with the traveling right now, but i um, gonna enjoy it here in the warmth and the sunshine um, and just you know, take it all in. Love it, Brooke. Thank you for spending a few minutes uh, with me. All the best in 2022. Can't wait to catch up with you again at the Canadian Open in Ottawa. All the best to your dad and your sister, Brittany and your entire family. Happy holidays. Thank you so much.